Hello there, mathematicians. Today, I wanted to take some time to show you how you can solve double digit addition with regrouping four different ways. Let's get started. We are going to start with the number line strategy. All right, so with the number line, I'm going to do it two different ways. That's the beauty of a number line. There really is no right or wrong way. However, with a number line, there are ways you can do it to make the problem a lot easier. First, I'm going to start off with 45. Remember, we are adding 18. Well, here's what we know. 18 is really 10 plus eight more. So I'm going to use that to help me out with this number line. So I'm going to start off by adding 10. So starting at 45, I'm going to jump a 10. So I'm not adding any ones yet. So 45 and 10 more would be 55. Now I'm going to add eight more. You could simply count on eight more, or you can break eight up into a smaller problem in order to add easier. So I want to get to the nearest 10. So what I'm going to do with eight is break eight up into five and three. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because if I add five to 55, it quickly gets me to 60. Then all I have to do is add that three more and boom, 63. So there's my answer. And notice I also drew a square around my answer. That will show what my final answer is. Now let's do the number line a little differently. So once again, I am starting with 45. I'm going to go ahead and start off by getting to the nearest 10. To do that, I'm adding five more to get to 50. Remember friends, we are adding 18. So far I've only added five. So just like in the last model, I'm gonna go ahead and add three more to get to 53. And finally, I need to add the 10 more to get my answer a 63. So one thing I want to make sure that you know is you can start with by adding your 10 and then count on eight more. That is perfectly fine. But I want you to see how making a 10 can make solving these problems faster and easier. Now, Let's try it another way. Let's do expanded form next. Okay, so with my expanded form, I'm going to expand my numbers out. 45 is 40 plus five. 18 is 10 plus eight. From here, I can go ahead and add my 10s and 1. 5 plus 8 is 13. 40 and 10 is 50. If needed, I can expand 13 into 10 and 3. 50 and 10 is 60. Plus 3 more is 63. And once again, notice that I drew a square around my final answer. So that's how you can use expanded form to find your answer. Just simply break your number up into tens and ones, and then add from there. Let's try another strategy. Next, let's do place value notation. Okay. With place value notation, you are also going to be expanding your number out. So 45 is 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. With place value notation, tens are represented with sticks, ones are represented with circles. Now I'm going to draw 18. 10, 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. One thing I want you to notice is that as I was adding 18 more, I simply added on to what I already had. The reason being is I like to be able to see a group of 10 because I can simply change my 10 1 into a 10. It's not going anywhere. It's just that I changed it from 10 1 to a 10. And now all I have to do is go back, add my 10 and 1s together. I have 6 10s 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And I have three ones. 60 and 3 is 63. All right, let's take a look at one more strategy. The last strategy we're going to discuss is what I like to call the old fashioned way. With the old fashioned way, we're going to write out 45 plus 18 in vertical form. The reason why I cannot just simply leave it this way is because of the fact that this is just an equation. So when students need to show their work, they need to understand that this is just an equation. This is not work. So what I want students to do is to take what they're doing and just simply show the mathematics behind it. So when we're looking at our ones, we have five plus eight. So on the side here, I'm going to write five plus eight is equal to 13. And then I'm also going to say that 13 is 10 plus three. Now, this is not four plus one. That is something that is very common to hear. Four plus one is not four plus one. It's actually 40 plus 10. So I'm going to write here 40 plus 10 is 50. Now, I'm going to put the tens together. 50 plus 10 is 60. And then 60 plus 3 is 63. So when you are doing this, this is what we will commonly see. Right? That's what you're used to seeing. So I just want you to take it a step further and explain your thinking here. You can even do this by drawing a little picture of place value notation. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then you can draw 10, 20, 30, 40, and 10. You can do something like that as well. But I want to see one further step to show the thinking behind what students are doing. So in other words, if a student were to turn it in just like this, I would not accept it because it does not show any work. Make sure students take it one step further and show their work, meaning to explain their thinking. After all, mathematics is so unique that way. There are so many different ways to come to the answer. The method is what matters. I am interested in your child's method. So students, parents, make sure that you are showing how you get your answers. All right, mathematicians, good luck.